Many homeowners are still trying to repair the damage caused by Hurricane Ida. And now a group of U.S. senators are sounding the alarm after new FEMA guidelines are expected to prompt flood insurance premiums to increase nationwide. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner has a story tonight from Hoboken. The floors inside Blue Ribbon Wine and Liquor on 1st and Adams Street are damaged, covered by rugs due to Hurricane Ida last month. The store is near Nellie Mayeno's home, who says there are still cracks inside that she hasn't been able to fix from Hurricane Sandy in 2012. I had extensive damage. I had four feet of water. Um, and I had so much loss. Her home is part of roughly 80% of Hoboken considered to be in a flood zone. She says living on a fixed income, it's hard to keep up with the bills. She's one of millions who use the national flood insurance program run by FEMA. They're quick to collect their premiums, but when it comes to uh, providing the assistance, it does take time. You have to do a lot of paperwork, you know, go through a lot of red tape, and it's really frustrating. And now the frustration is going to build more. This week, FEMA changed the formula for premiums. Instead of basing it on things like where the property is and the base elevation, it will evaluate how close a property is to the water and the cost of rebuilding, in part due to climate change creating stronger storms. U.S. Senators Robert Menendez and Cory Booker of New Jersey are part of a group asking FEMA to postpone the change. Saying nearly 20% of all policyholders will drop out over the next 10 years, in large part due to the unaffordable premiums. But it's one way FEMA will pay back what it owes to the U.S. Treasury. Dr. David Robinson of Rutgers University. The computer models suggest that more of our rain in the future is going to fall in larger events. Sea level is rising. So a run of the mill storm today will have the potential of doing more damage in the decades ahead. Since Sandy, many towns have made efforts to limit flood damage from future storms, but it's not clear if that will be taken into account. FEMA declined an on-camera interview but told us it expects more people to purchase flood insurance because individuals will no longer pay more than their share in premiums based on the value of their homes. In Hoboken, New Jersey, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.